Hey everybody, here we are again. Milestone glass and a bottle of Milestone Comet. So here for another test test. We've got the Parrot bottle opener, har. So we'll crack it on. They're not bottle conditioned. Cold filtered. I think that was the terminology. Nice hiss, not much in the way of can smoke. Let's get it into the glass. The glass is heavily nucleated, I remember that from last time, because it's only a day or so ago. Short term memory is uh, not completely shot at. So we'll do a, a reasonably gentle pour, because that head is just going to build and build. Yeah, proper amount of carbonation in that. Uh, supposedly, I think lightly carbonated. I'm going to give it a slurp because we're getting already getting a bit you can see there's bubbles sticking to the side of the glass and this just pouring up and we're going to get a bit of a meringue head. So get rid of some of the volume. Mm. Take the glasses off again. So we'll see what it says on the bottle. Ingredients, water, malted barley, wheat, hops and pinings. On the advice contains malted barley, wheat, contains gluten, not suitable for vegans. Gently carbonated and sterile cold filtered. 3.9% ABV. I think it says serve at 13, it's more than that. Comet, a sessionable, refreshing pale ale with a Christmas sparkle. Bumfart Brewery. So I'll let you have a look, a quick look at the label. It's again another one of their Christmas range. So let's have a look at the beer. Pale ale. Pale, very pale ale. Very carbonated. Very light straw. Very pale gold. Crystal clear, as you can see. Flashy with the torch. carbonated so the head's sticking around. It's not hand pump style. Bottle. Not bottle conditioned, it's bottle carbonated. Right, so let's give a little bit of a snifter on the aroma. Pale malt. about it on the aroma. Maybe a little bit of uh, maybe a little bit of spicy tone. <clears throat> Let's uh, have a taste. That's quite surprisingly flavourful, to 
be honest. Malt wise, there's a no real sweetness, but there's an upfront pale malt flavour, and it dies into a bit of a biscuit note. I think it's biscuit. Yeah, it's quite a pleasant, it's like a maybe slightly no, it's a biscuit note. You got that pale malt and then it, it, it dies into a bit like like Horlix, like pale note, pale, pale malty note and it blends into a, a biscuit flavour that's quite nice and then there's a Ever so slight, ever so slight fruitiness. Mm. What sort of fruit? Vague fruitiness. With a bit of slight spicy notes as well. Very, very gentle bittering. Pleasant, really. Christmas sparkle. It looks like it's snowing upwards. Christmas sparkle. It's okay. It's quite a nice beer. Would I buy it again? Maybe if it was there. On the alley in bottles or on tap. More if it was on tap, I think that'd be I don't think it's really a Christmassy beer. No, there are some slight I can't say what it is. Slight like sort of Christmas spicy notes. Maybe. Is it is there any cinnamon in it? Not really cinnamon. Not maybe maybe. Doesn't say. It doesn't say anything about that, but Reminiscent of Christmas spices, are just a yeah, a general subtle Christmas spiciness. No, oh, it's a nice beer. Right, like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Cheers. Bye.